Hi, I'm Pierce Slayer with Uprocks Reports. In the United States, only 50% of prisons offer educational programs to their inmates. Today, we're in Chowchilla, California at a medium security men's prison where one program is making waves. Let's go check it out. First Teachers opened up the institution, which was in 1996. It encompasses doing hair, coloring, cutting, perming, and then we do nails. Everything that they would have to do outside in, in a regular cosmetology school, they have to do here. I'm in a uh, prison for second-degree murder, and I have a 15 of life sentence. I'm in prison for burglary with owner present, and my sentence is eight years, two months at 85%. I've seen the opportunities over here, so I wanted to learn how to do my daughter's hair, so I came over here and ended up falling in love with it. My fiance like, they have cosmetology in prison? I said, yeah, you know, I, I really get to uh, do pedicures, manicures, The racial bonds don't exist in this class. Those barriers stay outside of the classroom. I'm from down south, and I'm an ex-gang member, and communicating with people from up north was a no-no before. But now, is, you know, we talk to everybody. Everybody gets along, everybody talks. It's preparing me for when I go back into society, I'm able to communicate with people instead of just shutting down and isolating myself. Someone can come in in a, in a bad mood, and they have a client that day, and when the client walks out feeling really good and happy and a smile on his face, they can't help but catch that energy. It really will turn them around. When you can make somebody feel better just by your work, then it makes you feel good inside, you know? There is a lot of programs and a lot of us do take advantage of it, especially programs like this that not something I see myself doing before, but now I do, you know, it encourages me. I would really like to see them go on and succeed because having been there myself and having done it as a career, I know that they can go out there and make good choices so that they don't have to go back into the life that they were in. You have any beauty tips that you can share with us. Don't shampoo your hair all the time. When you're, when you're sitting there uh, shampooing your hair all the time, you're just stripping all your natural oils out and it, it's not really good for your hair. There's always gonna be work in this field. Everybody wants to look good, you know? For more information about the Chowchilla Prison Beauty School, visit uprocks.com.